Hello there, my beautiful Aries, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Aries, we are looking into this week of September 20th to the 26th. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, and do not forget to check out your other chart placements on my channel. Aries, we are getting you a number for this week to see what number Spirit is highlighting for you. You may see this number on license plates, billboards, social media, wherever you see digits. So here we go for my beautiful Aries Spirit for Aries for this week. What number is coming through for Aries? All right, Aries, so your number is zero. I am limitless. This card says there is no beginning and no end. All is infinite. It is time to develop your spiritual side. You are gaining new insight and understanding of both godly and earthly things. All right, Aries. So you're definitely singing, sitting in a very powerful position this week, realizing that anything is possible for you with the number zero coming in as well. Some of you may be starting something totally from scratch and or having some sort of very, very deep transformation within yourself. So let's see what else we got going on here for my beautiful Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Aries for this week. Wow, we have the Eclipse in Sagittarius Growth, card 33, Success After a Setback. All right, Aries. So whatever part of your life has been struggling lately or for quite some time, it looks like there is totally fresh energy coming in. And I also feel like for a lot of you, Aries, this is internal. I feel like for a lot of you, you are going through an energy of growth, evolution, releasing trauma, getting through a lot of hard times from the past and really feeling that successful energy. So you're really feeling very good about yourself, Aries. We also have the number 33, so pay attention to the threes as well. Some of you could have been born on the third. Doesn't have to be, it's just the energy. But let's see what Moonology card comes through for you here, Aries. We do have a full moon in Pisces at the beginning of this week. This full moon is very much um, categorized around good fortune and good luck. And it looks like it's given Aries some of it. So here we go. We have a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. So there was something very specifically bothering you about something. Right? It's general. So you know what was causing you a sense of feeling a setback or a personal issue within yourself. So I did feel that with those two cards and now they confirmed a personal issue. So you had some sort of struggle and or problem with something about yourself or something with someone else. And it is getting resolved this week or you are coming out of that and feeling successful and sitting in that energy of growing from this issue. So let's see what we got going on in the tarot. Um, cancer energy coming in now. We also did have the Sagittarius energy. Could have this in your chart somewhere and or dealing with somebody with this energy. But let's see. Spirit for my beautiful Aries for this week for Aries. So maybe you may be changing your appearance. You may have felt low self-esteem recently. And you're kind of realizing that you can do and or take on or be anyone you want to be. Underneath your zero, we have the eight of wands. Beautiful. Underneath your eclipse and sag, we have the devil. And underneath the full moon and cancer, we have the hermit. Wow. So you are really, really transforming here. Eight of wands, success, growth feeling good, feeling attractive, feeling very good in your own skin. And it does seem like a lot of people are also noticing you as well. With the devil here, there's definitely been a lot of fears, doubts, codependency, addictions, trauma. This is what you're finding growth from. 
That is beautiful. And with the hermit here, there is a very beautiful sense of healing. So I do feel like this is internal for a lot of you, Aries. Feeling better, feeling freer. And it's almost like whatever growth you are going through this week or have been going through with that Eight of Wands, it's bringing you extreme success and extreme sense of accomplishment for a lot of you. A lot of messages and or fast paced energy is coming in because of this shift you have created within yourself and I tell everyone if you want to change your life you have to change something within you and Aries it seems as though you have figured this out we have Capricorn and Virgo energy coming in in the majors but let's clarify this again on the eight of wands we have the queen of swords yeah you are independent you are feeling good in your own skin and you're really in a very very high vibe energy on the devil we have the eight of cups look at you mm -hmm. you're walking away from everything that no longer serves you all of those traumatic experiences all of those mindsets mental prison like states that you were keeping yourself in some of you you are finally getting over something with this eight of cups emotionally and the hermit with the five of pentacles so for some of you aries you may have an extreme fear of abandonment and you finally decide to figure out a way to really focus on that and heal it you're releasing a sense of like abandonment issues Hmm, let's clarify this one more time, Aries. Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, the Lovers, and the Five of Pentacles with the Moon. Yeah, you're releasing a sense of abandonment. I feel like for a lot of you, Aries, there if this has to do with love, I feel like you were struggling to a certain extent with love. Um, for some of you, this may be somebody who did make you feel alone or maybe you abandoned them or they abandoned you. There definitely could be a conversation between the two of you about this relationship and about how can we move on from the past and the lovers reconcile and start over. Some of you, Aries, you are getting over the past and moving into newer energy for yourself. It doesn't have to be love. It could just be generally. You just want to feel better about yourself. You're feeling very comfortable. You're feeling very stable and you're not necessarily fearing things as much as you were fearing energy before so I really get a sense of you healing inside and I feel like you're receiving a lot of people coming your way so for some of you Aries this healing that you are doing is going to create a shift in your love life where people are coming into your energy could be past people could be your current person who is finally being more loving more attentive more talkative with you more complimentive to you let's clarify one more time i do want to see what clarifies this moon energy here but something was bothering you and it's now it's just not bothering you anymore the two of cups four of pentacles and the three of swords yeah there was some very very strong hurt you're getting over something you're getting over some sort of pain you're getting over some sort of heartbreak um for some of you aries this could also be cross watcher as well um aries cross watcher you may be healing with an aries who caused you a lot of pain and heartbreak four of pentacles somebody was definitely very closed off towards this healing but this healing is happening so um for a lot of you it's just internal and you're finding somebody to share your newly found healing with for some of you, this has to do with a certain connection in your life, a friendship, a family member, a lover. Um, there was hurt here. There was abandonment here or a very strong fear of abandonment. But it looks like you two are going to have a very compromising conversation about just being stable. And I feel like Aries, you growing or you doing something within yourself is creating this. So just looks like you're healing something and you're getting over something and you may be getting over this so this relationship can be better more healthy more stable more successful
So let's get your specific love energies now, Aries. For some of you, this has to do with love. For some of you, this has to do with like a friend or a family member. But something is just not causing you as much stress as it was in the past. And you finally feel a sense of healing. So let's see. We have stuck. We have patience. And we have purge. Yep. So somebody was hurt here in this connection. And they were purposely creating stagnancy for this connection. But now it looks like that energy of stuck is going away. So let's clarify here, spirit. For Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs in terms of love for this week. On stuck, we have solitude. On patience, we have fresh start. And on purge, we have shadow work. Y'all, I can't make this up. Purge, shadow work, right on the energy where I'm telling you that you're getting over something and a personal issue is reaching resolution. There you go. So let's clarify this again here. So there is a fresh start for you with love, either with this person or um, another energy. I feel like for a lot of you, it may be with this person that you have been a bit strugglesome with. But, you know, some of you could just be totally getting over it. Let's clarify this spirit once again for Aries. Solitude with third party. So for some of you, you created distance with this person because of third party came out some sort of energy there or you created distance with this person because you would have rather wanted to focus on work family friends fresh start with surrender and shadow work with signs yeah definitely getting a lot of signs about this connection a lot of synchronicities let's clarify this again spirit for aries so like I said, some of you created stagnancy because of a third party exposure or others of you, you just created stagnancy because you figured that you may have happiness with work, family, friends opposed to this relationship. But let's clarify this here. On third party, we have grief. Yeah. On surrender, we have inner child. On signs, we have abandoned. All right, so for a lot of you, this is somebody that you left and or created distance between the two of you. Spirit, please clarify this. On grief, we have separation. Yeah, somebody was hurt here. And it could even have been energetic separation it doesn't have to be physical we have inner child with cycles we have abandoned with vibrations yeah <clears throat> so you're you're either coming back together with somebody that you left or they left you or there's an energy here of a energetic separation because of some sort of sadness around another energy so it doesn't have to be a specific other person maybe somebody was sad they were being ignored for their work maybe somebody was sad that they were being ignored for the other person they were just hanging out with friends all the time let's clarify this one more time here spirit for aries on separation we have divine masculine so we have a key here with the Divine Masculine coming up there. Hold on. Let me clarify again. Let me keep going and then I'll talk. Received and compromised. Okay. Yeah. So either the Divine Masculine was the one who had to be separated from or the Divine Masculine is the one who is very sad over third party energy. But nonetheless, there is going to be compromise with this person. You two are going to resolve whatever had happened here. Um, it could just be compromise and closure. We do have fresh start on patience, so it definitely could be compromise and a fresh start. 
But I'm going to give it one more clarification for you, Aries, and then we end your reading. I feel like a lot of you got a lot of signs about this person's energy. Spirit, please clarify this for Aries. On Divine Masculine, we have Refocus. On Received, we have Settling. So you both were kind of just not doing anything for a while. Just saying in the energy of, all right, I'll just be patient. We'll see what happens. And Compromise with Mask. Yeah, so I feel like for a lot of you Aries, you do not trust this person or they do not trust you. Um, there's still an energy here of a bit of doubt and a bit of fear. Let's clarify that energy. Purge, shadow work, signs, abandon, compromise, and mask. For some of you, this mask energy is here because you or them did want to have compromise a lot earlier than this energy came to reality, but neither of you were making the moves towards it. Metamorphosis. Yeah, the mask is coming off. So the talk has to happen. Eight of Wands, my conversation card. So you're definitely um, having some sort of compromising and or closure sort of conversation with somebody that there was a separation from. For sure. Somebody really wanted to have this, but they were hiding it. They were pretending that they were fine without you. Or some of you Aries may have been pretending you were fine without this person. But in retrospect, there was not that kind of energy. But there is a transformation to this. And you're reaching that energy of resolution. And honestly, with your zero, you could really do anything with this energy. Um, but there is a very nice transformation and growth to this connection so thank you aries this is your weekly um i hope you have a wonderful week and i'll talk to all of y'all very soon bye now